So Becky Hammond, yeah. young lady who played her college ball right up the road at Colorado State, um, coached the San Antonio Spurs summer league team. How long do you think it'll be before we see, if at all, a woman coaching an NBA team during the regular season? Becky Hammond could coach an NBA team right now if somebody had the open mind to do it. I mean, she needs more seasoning. She needs more time than on a bench. She needs to move from the second row of the Spurs bench to the first row of the Spurs bench. But she's learning from the best coach in the league, or certainly one of them. And I've known Becky Hammond since she was 18 years old. So. Uh, yeah, Becky Hammond is, is a future NBA coach if some NBA team has the guts to give her the job. How far down the road? How, how far down the road can this happen? Here's what I think will happen is she'll go uh, coach in the D-League. I think that I think they'll the NBA will kind of offer that that's you know, could should she go coach in the WNBA? I don't see that yeah, as see, a, I don't I see that as a you, tunnel. Because she mentioned, and I saw an interview that she did last week. They said, I don't know. I want to be a head coach, and I don't know where that's going to be. But it seems to me, because we are who we are as a society still, that if she went and coached to, in the WNBA, they would say, okay, you're a WNBA coach. Well, that even yeah. happened to a former center for the Detroit Pistons. He, right. can't, get the the NBA. Yeah. he can't get a job in the NBA because he's associated with the WNBA. WNBA. I, but the D-League coaches come. We know two mm. prominent ones, Phil Jackson yeah. and George Carl, are coaching right. the D-League. I think that the NBA will suggest to, to the D-League, since it's so associated with the NBA, Give her a chance there and let's see what's happened. I think that might be the good route for her because they do that with the women officials that they, that they hire. They let them coach or they they hire them to to referee in the WNBA. I would love to see her do it. There was close. Peyton Manning once said we were talking about Peyton Manning that he would have wanted her to coach the Tennessee football team. There was talk all along about her shifting over to the Tennessee basketball team. Men's, I wish that had happened because she was, she was right to coach either women's basketball. I think the reason Summit why they didn't do it at Tennessee Pat is Summit. because yeah. who did I say? You, did, you didn't. You, you didn't, didn't say that. Oh, Pat Summit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I think they didn't want to move her over because that women's team was so successful. They thought maybe you know. That, that 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 was outdrawing the men's team in a twenty six thousand seat arena, so I, th I think Pat Summer could have done it, and I think Becky Hammond will be the first to break okay, it. Okay, my my. I think my, it'll, guys. I think it'll be later rather than sooner, okay. Unfortunately, that, okay. That's I, that's what question because, I was going to ask you because of what you said. Because there's still a bit of a caveman mentality, a bit of a Neanderthal mentality to pro athletes. We saw it with the Michael Sam thing. There's some guys who said they wouldn't go in the shower with them. They didn't want them on their team. Well, how do you think they're going to react to a woman coaching them at the highest level? I just think there's going to be a lot of pushback on this, and there are going to be some guys who will not want to play for her, but I think eventually it will happen because it should happen. Okay, 2025, 10 years from now. Female NBA coach or no? Hmm. Yes. I think 10 years, yeah. Okay. I do. I could see. So, the, so then I Becky Hammond right. has time. She's, she, she'll be, you know, she can be an NBA coach. She won't be too old to you be break an the NBA barrier. coach I mean, 10 years I, from now. How many, how many uh, teams in other leagues wanted uh, African-American managers or coaches? Took a long time. Well, let me ask you this. Once, you, once the barrier was broken in all those sports, there was a flood. Uh, baseball, basketball, hockey, football, soccer. Which sport will have the first female head coach managing and coaching male athletes? That's a good question. It's not going to happen in baseball. It won't be baseball or football, but I think basketball is a real yeah, good I chance think that's it. because um, maybe soccer. Seal Barry, the great CU coach. When I was doing a story on Becky Hammond, I want to talk to CEO to say, you know, what do you see in this person as a coach? And she told me something real interesting. She said, on every female basketball coaching staff, they always tell us, and we always did it, don't get a male coach because you need a little testosterone in that huddle. And she says, you know what? The opposite is true. Sometimes in male sports, there's too much testosterone in that huddle, and you need a different point of view to say, fellas, why don't you just chill, chill out chill. here? And 
She says that that, that a female will bring that to a locker room. Yeah. What what if Becky Hammond went to Ty Lawson and said, Ty, young man, would you behave yourself? <laughs> you know, and well, I know that's that's traditional. You didn't role. listen to anybody else. Yeah, so that's what I'm her. saying. Ty got all. I'm a guy. I go to Vegas. I smoke the hookah if I wanna. Now, if you uh, if a female figure says, "Ty, cut that out now," maybe Ty goes, "Yes, ma'am. I will." And we know who's running the world anyway. So yeah, I would return the question. You said ten years from now, which will we have in this country first, female president or free female NBA? Oh, a female basketball? president. Before we have a coach, a female head coach. Yeah. We're going to have a female president in about a year and a half. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. We, we don't want to go down that line, do we? <laughs> I don't. I mean that I'm literally just, and figuratively. I'm not saying I want it. I'm predicting. That's, That's all. Right. I, I, I'm not a political cat. <laughs> all right. That segment sponsored by John Elway Chevrolet, Colorado's number one Chevy dealer.